Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we have the kind folks over at Xtool packaging list. Quick start guide. So in the box we have the OBD2 cable and connector. We have all the different options for the plugs and a USB cable for the charger. I'm surprised it's not USB-C. And this is the scan tool itself. And turn it on. There we go. Now we're back. I have all the updates done and there was 174 or five updates to be done. And we have, we'll go through a few things here now. We'll just show you the special functions. Now, bearing in mind the special functions, not all these will work on every car. So they won't. But we'll just go through them anyway. You have the instrument cluster, power balance, seat matching, TPMS resets, language change. So that's all in the special functions here. Then you can uh, save reports. You can email reports. When you do a, a diag on a car, you can any fault code show up. You can email that to the client or to the office reception. Um, you have your settings. So you have your language, units. You can change that to metric imperial workshop information you can uh, workshop information you can type in your company name address website telephone contact numbers all that firmware this is the about uh, this also comes with lifetime free updates as well which is very good especially for what's what's in the unit updates more oh yeah you have the full user manual here as well when you go into more you have remote control access as well if you're having an issue, if you're diagnosing a car, you need to do something and you're unsure of it, you have remote access with their teams as well. They'll give you an ID. Uh, that was special functions. So let's go diagnosis. So you have here in my vehicles, there's nothing saved obviously on it. You have China. Pretty much every one of these cars I've never heard of. You have Europe, which would be the most common one. Okay, folks, we're in the car now. You'll have to excuse. There's an awful glare on the camera at the moment. So I've plugged into the car here now, and we're just going to see will it read. I have an 09 uh, Renault Laguna. It's an old car, so I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. So select, okay, system selection. Okay, now I know there is three or four faults on this car. I'm very curious to see. One of them especially is the door lock on the driver's side. Very curious to see will I pick that up because I have um okay one fault already. I have um, a top down scan tool that doesn't pick it up. There you go. Look, driver's door five. It's very fast scanning as well. Okay, so we're gonna we're in the car here now. And we're just gonna have to carry the engine started. So we're just gonna click on Europe, Renault, automatic detection. Okay, here we go, the Gunner 3 is very, very, I'm very impressed with how fast it detects the car. Automatic scan, system selection, been through system selection yet. So you have all the different systems you can go through in the car. Which is very handy, so say for example, go into injection. Read information, read DTCs. I think we had a DTC, didn't we? Oh yeah, damper valve diagnostics line. Memory, it's an old one. Uh, you have live data. So you have main data, main data, status perimeters, all statuses, all perimeters, function tests, and read configuration. Function tests is something very interesting. So cruise control, torque management, fuel circuit, illumination, heating, Air circulation, turbo inlet, drivers. Okay, so you have lots of function tests as well available on it. Now, that's obviously model of the car dependent. So if I go for the live data, I go all parameters. Okay, so it does do graphing. You can see there as I'm accelerating the car, it's, it's pretty instant. There's 108 items. And I think you can graph up to eight items. Yeah, it's eight and one. So you have up to eight items you can graph at a time. 
Now one item I'm very interested in is DPF. But this car is not equipped with a DPF so I'm going to have to do another video on a different car with a DPF. Mass airflow. VCU information, read DTCs, clear DTCs, live data and actuation tests. So high pressure test cut out, injectors one, two, three, four, fuel flow solenoid valve, fuel pressure solenoid valve, high pressure circuit leak test, preheater relay, glow plugs, turbocharging solenoid valve and air inlet flap. So for such a small unit and at a, at a low price as well, it's, it's not a bi-directional scan tool, but it does actuation tests which a lot of other uh, scan tools in the market in around this price age or the price don't do. System selection, so if I go into ABS. Okay, so I am, um, we're going to try diagnosis. Oh, Europe. Renault. Now, I couldn't find the, the electric parking brake. It wouldn't give me the option inside in a special function. So we're going to try it this way through the diagnosis section. Um, system selection. I want to hit ABS. It's doing a check there on the car, as you can see. I want to go to actuation tests, um, do an automatic scan, and we'll see. We'll try and go back through the system. It's something I'm doing here now. It's nothing to do with the tool, I'm assuming. It's very fast for scanning. The scanning is very impressive on it. So we know these in the last part. We went through all that. Um, so we can go report. Okay, so this shows you your diagnostics report, and you can edit as far as I know, no. You okay, can, my you impressions can on this scan tool. You can edit it and uh, add the information. It's actually more than surpassed. It surpassed my expectations of it. To be totally honest with you, it's a fantastic, fantastic for the amount of stuff it does. Would like the screen. Like there's all this wasted space here. I would like the screen to be larger, but for the price range, and what it does, lifetime free updates, uh, lifetime support from X tool on it, and the actuation tests everything it does with it is fantastic like i have a top down oh, top down 600 s or 600 doesn't do any activation tests or nothing and this tool does all the activation tests checks checks your motors window motors locks um heaters air conditioning everything it's fantastic for the price range as a DIY scan tool for someone working at home or just messing around working on cars or to have in your car 100% recommend it 100% this is going to live in my car now this is going to live in my car while the DH obviously is at home in the garage this is going to live in my car full time I'm actually going to put this in my Diag bag for when I'm doing breakdowns and stuff like that and keep using it that way it's fantastic well surpassed my expectations of the tool when they said they wanted to send it to me I had a quick search online yeah, it looked, looked okay, but when I got it, oh, unbelievable. Very, very, very good. Highly recommend it. That's the X tool, the IP608. Highly recommend it. Okay, folks, thanks for watching this video. And if it was any, any of any interest or any use to you, uh, please give us a like and subscribe. And I will try in the meantime and get a link uh, where to buy this on Amazon, a link, direct link, and I'll post it down in the description below. Thank you.